Have you ever wondered about the dramatic clash between an angry star and its planet? A young planet close to a red dwarf star changes in surprising ways each time it circles the star. When NASA's Hubble telescope first looked, it seemed the planet's atmosphere was safe. But about a year and a half later, the Hubble found that the star's strong energy waves, called stellar wind, were pulling away the planet's hydrogen air. The planet's enigmatic atmosphere presents a puzzle, with its behavior undergoing dramatic shifts from orbit to orbit. But why is this red dwarf star unleashing its high-energy fury on its own planet? Join us in this video as we explore the astonishing observations made by NASA and uncover the mind-boggling mystery of an angry star. The Hubble, orbiting Earth, can spot when a far-off planet passes between its star and Earth by catching the star's light. This movement makes the star seem a bit dimmer for a short time, signaling that something caused the brief dimming. This way of figuring things out is how scientists first found the planet AU Mick B in 2020. But for that discovery, it was NASA's Spitzer and Tess telescopes that spotted it first. Now, though, Hubble gets to claim its own AU Mike system discovery. Researchers notice something more interesting than just changes in starlight during a regular transit. By looking closely at the light waves, they found the dimming of the starlight of AU Microscopii much deeper than expected, going beyond the planet itself. It was not solely due to the planet itself passing in front of its star. AU Microscopy B revolves around its host star, AU Microscopy, every 8.46 days, at a remarkably close distance of only 6 million miles, 9.6 million kilometers, roughly a tenth of the gap between Mercury and our Sun. It is merely 32 light years away from our planet Earth. This star, categorized as a red dwarf, is famous for its intense nature and stands as one of the youngest known stars, with an age of approximately 23 million years. Interestingly, despite its intimate proximity to the star, the planet experiences significant fluctuations in its atmospheric loss during each orbit. Red dwarfs are the dominant stellar entities within our Milky Way galaxy. Known for their intense magnetic fields and formidable stellar flares, these stars can unleash energy that surpasses our Sun's outbursts by up to 1,000 times. It's 23 million years old, which is very, very young, basically a toddler star, said Keeley Rockliffe, first author of a study on the new Hubble findings and exoplanet researcher at Dartmouth College. Astronomers are excited because AU Microscopy is an example of what the young, tantrum-like years of a red dwarf, the most common type of star in the Milky Way, are like. Surprisingly, the reason behind this cosmic activity was the material escaping from the planet's atmosphere, slowly fading into space. This unique finding shows a phenomenon called atmospheric evaporation. It's caused by the powerful and high-energy bursts from the red dwarf star. Hubble's data showed that these strong energy bursts, termed stellar wind, were behind this change. The star's powerful radiation is stripping away the planet's atmosphere, leading to a turbulent setting. The scientists believe the changes in AU Microscope IB's vanishing atmosphere might be due to its unpredictable red dwarf star. Maybe a big energy burst from the star turned the escaping hydrogen invisible, so it's not visible in the light. Or perhaps the strong wind from the star affects how the planet's atmosphere drifts away, causing it to show up and vanish at different moments. What's fascinating about AU Microscopii's atmosphere is how it doesn't always behave the same way. Sometimes, the star seems restless, impacting the planet, while at other moments it's calm and doesn't cause any changes. Rockliffe and her team believe that the planet's gravitational pull caused some of its material to break away from its core, leading to this escape. She described it as the material being dramatically swept off, offering us a mesmerizing look into the complex dance of this far-off cosmic pair. I remember when I first created the light curve of this planet with our Hubble data and saw that the transit happened well before the predicted transit of the planet, Rockliffe said. I immediately thought, well, I definitely made a mistake. However, no matter how many times I redid the analysis from different methods, the result was the same. For instance, when we first noticed atmospheric evaporation, it was in places called hot Jupiters. These are some of the most uncommon exoplanets in our galaxy. 
Think of them as Jupiter's hotter twins because they're super close to their stars, making them incredibly warm. But here's the thing, we haven't found many of these hot Jupiters. To give you a clearer picture, Rockliffe says that using such limited data to understand the whole process would be like using a financially affluent person's experience to extrapolate the typical experience of the middle class. Atmospheric escape, Rockliffe explained, is potentially one of the most influential evolutionary processes for the majority of exoplanets. Essentially, this work could help scientists decode what worlds beyond our solar system are like, where they reside, and perhaps create guides that'll help us write out their lore. Red dwarf stars, the most common in our Milky Way, are believed to be home to many planets. Yet, the swift and unexpected changes we observe in these stars present a puzzling question for astronomers. Rockliffe highlighted that there's a big mystery about how exoplanets might be losing their atmospheres. She shared, When we study these distant planets, one big question stands out. What's causing their atmospheres to disappear? Is it the powerful radiation from their star? Or could it be heat from the planet's own hot young core? It's noteworthy that this is the first instance where we've observed a planet's atmosphere escaping ahead of the planet itself. What's even more curious about the atmospheric changes in AU might be is their inconsistency. It's as if the star has mood swings. Sometimes it seems agitated and affects the planet, while at other moments it's calm and undisturbed. My opinion, or intuition, is telling me this behavior is intricately tied to the atmosphere's interaction with AU Mike's stellar winds, Rockliffe said. AU Mike's stellar winds might be causing turbulence as it interacts with the atmosphere, causing this time-variable burping of hydrogen gas. She's also pondering the planet's distant future based on what Hubble has observed. While these ideas are still in the early stages, there are a couple of intriguing possibilities. If the planet loses its entire atmosphere and is stripped down to its core, it might resemble Mercury. However, suppose it retains some of its lower atmospheres. In that case, we could look at a world with unique atmospheric conditions, perhaps with dense clouds or even a different weather system. AU Microscopy B and its fiery host, AU Microscopy, remind us of the boundless wonders and mysteries that await us beyond our celestial neighborhood. Could the extreme behavior of red dwarf stars like AU Microscopy impact the habitability of their planets, including the potential for life to emerge? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video was a cosmic journey for you, reward it with a starry thumbs up and activate the subscribe button like a space probe, drifting among the stars. Click the video on your screen for more space.